Matthew chapter 22 from verse 34 through the end. When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hung all the law and the prophets. Now while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them this question, What do you think of the Messiah? Whose son is he? They said to him, The son of David. He said to them, How is it then that David by the Spirit calls him Lord, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, until I put your enemies under your feet. If David thus calls him Lord, how can he be his son? No one was able to give him an answer. Now, from that day, did anyone dare to ask him any more questions? The scriptures mention several times the word law. There are several different laws. For example, you will find spiritual law, the law of nature, universal law, social law, the law of sin and death, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Jesus matches two scriptures from the Pentateuch that Moses wrote to explain the greatest commandment according to the Mosaic law. Deuteronomy 6, 5 You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your might. Leviticus 19, 18 You shall not take vengeance or bear grudge, grudge against any of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself, I am the Lord. Right here we see in the Old Testament the scriptures suggesting forgiveness. Why those two commandments are the basis for the entire law? According to St. Paul and the other apostles, loving others is the fulfillment of the law. You don't have to say to a mother who loves her baby, do not kill. Or to a couple who love each other, do not commit adultery. While scholars and religious leaders are worried about systematic theology and theory, Jesus asks them who God is. Even because the law is to display the very nature of God. The academics replied to the Lord from a human perspective, He is the son of David. They said, and that is correct. But the Messiah is much more than the son of David. The Lord Jesus Christ is the son of God. So Jesus quotes the Psalm 110 verse 1. The Lord says, says to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. This psalm proves the Trinity in the Old Testament. The ones who like to say that Trinity is a creation from Greek philosophy should read the Hebrews, Hebrew script texts.
for there are plenty of testimonies about a god that is three persons in one. The Son knows the Father as no one else, and he introduces God, which isn't all about laws, regulations, ordinances, decrees, and liturgical rituals. God is love. Love requires a relationship. Love is personal. Love is sacrificial. The Mosaic Covenant is humankind trying to please God. It is human corrupt love towards God and others. And the New Covenant is God seeking us searching for us. The Mosaic Covenant requires ceremonies and the New Covenant has to do with a new heart, mind and way of life. The old is earthly and the new is heavenly. Christ on that cross is God saying to you and me, I love you. Jesus makes it clear in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 30, 13, verse 34. A new commandment I give you. It is not an old commandment. It is not from Moses. That you love one another, just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. That is another level of love. You shall love one another with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Love people, love your neighbor, love others. Always bear in mind that love does not consist that we love God, but that God loved us when we were still sinners. It is a forgiving love. Love be multiplied into our hearts, for God is love. If you have God abiding with you, you must have love. Thank you.